Okay, Luke, um, this is obviously something you've been waiting for for a while now. Maybe the last two seasons have been very consistent and maybe you thought it was going to come earlier, you know, going 20-23. But um, uh, what is the feeling when you found out from your club that you're going to go to the national team? Uh, definitely uh, unbelievable. I, c I can't describe it in words. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer of God and I think all good things happen in good time. So whether it, it was two months ago or two months later, I think that was the right time for me. So just very happy to be here and now it's up to me to grab the opportunity. For many of the people who don't know who you are, um, obviously you come through Stelly's, um, Super Sport and then to, to Varbergs. What's the level like of football in the Swedish top flight um, compared to what the little you experience in South Africa? Yeah, look, I haven't, I haven't played any PSL games, but I've been with Supersport, I've been with the PSL squad for two years. I've been playing the Disky, Disky League, you know. So going to Sweden, I think for me, was a step up. I think it was needed at that time. I was 20 years old, I wanted to play. And I think going into Europe is, is, is everyone's dream. So being a 20-year-old going into Sweden, I think Sweden is also the right step to take. You can't go straight to Portugal or Netherlands. So I think this was important for me to do and just... Now I'm enjoying my football, playing every week, and hopefully it can continue like that. Do you feel like you, you have the longevity to, 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 to stick it out? You know, because in South Africa, a lot of you know, South African players are criticized coming back too early, homesick, or whatever yeah. the case may be. Look, I think players will always be criticized, whether you play in, in Sweden, in Portugal, in, in PSL, I think will always be there. I think for me, for me being here is, I'm here for a reason. And I feel honored for the, for the call up and it's up to me definitely, as you have said, I, I think I can, I believe in myself, I always will back myself, so I'm ready for the opportunity. So, so I, look, I meant uh, staying in abroad instead of coming home, not, not necessarily longevity in the national team squad, uh, because a lot of the South African players are criticized for coming back home too early. My goal and my aim at the moment is to stay in Europe as long as I can. Whether that is un until 30 or until 35, mm. we'll see, but as long as I can. That's and, with, and when you look at the environment and the, 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 the playing style there, you, you feel you can even move around to even bigger leagues at some stage? I believe so. Like I just said, I back myself. That's why being like, like Lorenzo have mentioned that playing week in, week out is very important. Getting game time, good games, and then who knows what can happen in the future. Definitely want to move to bigger league. And being in the national team, you feel you, if, if you, I mean, the coach said all of you will get to play, but if you, even if you don't, you feel it's all about just soaking it up for you because it's, it's the biggest uh, moment of, of uh, highlighting your of career. Of course, I mean, whether I play or not, it's, it's still the, the, the biggest achievement of my life, you know. So definitely, I think, and being here will also be a 5%, 10% percent difference if I can take the next step in my career. And tell me, Luke. Seeing Yaya and Kafu getting an opportunity uh, a few months ago, how much did that mean for you? Well, when I, when I saw that, I thought like, okay, if they can do it, why can't I, you know? As many young players, we, we look up to, to players who, who, who do that steps that we want to take, you know, whether they are 10 years older than us or five years older than us. But definitely the, that motivated me because I said like, definitely if they can do it, I can do it. And, 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 and tell me, man, did you speak to any one of them during that period when they were called up? No, not really. Did no, you? not really. Okay. And, and how is the process of waiting? I, mean, I, I know you, you've been consistent. How is that process of waiting? How does it feel for you to wait and you know, that, that national team call up is not coming? I, I don't think wait is the right word. I think you just have to put your head down and work and work and work. Because if you're going to wait, you're going to have expectations of when something should happen. So in my case, I was just, you know, I have a strong family system you know my, my parents always help me you know they they keep me on the right road so just hard work so you were like a number 10 a forward when you were still in your youth days very dominant obviously among your age group you've come to senior football and you've now dropped more to a six eight sometimes um what do you think you can offer the national team by just you know playing your own game and where's your strength now as a 22 year old 21 year old yeah look i can play as a six and an eight also, um, being a 22-year-old in football these days, it's you are young, but you are not you are not old. You understand. So, 22 years old, it's 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 your time to shine, to come through now. And coming back to me, I think I'm I'm good on the ball. I can stop counter attacks very well. I think I have, I have good vision. I can play between the lines or behind the lines, but don't want to give too much expectation. <laughs> Just I'm going to give 100% at all times. Look, I think it's it's also a boost for you know. 
younger players to have a coach, I suppose, that his main focus is looking into the future. Um, I mean, e even in that waiting period, that must have been encouraging for you. Of course, this was the, the motivating factor, you know, when you have a coach who says he wants young players, he wants to play young players, this was the, the, the extra driving force for me, you know, because I'm, I'm 22 and the coach have said he's looking for young players, so I thought that I just have to do my job, work hard, and then my opportunity will come. And look, um, that's not for me. Um, obviously, we, we all want to see Wafana are doing well. Um, and you guys are a whole different group, young group. I'm sure you guys talk amongst yourselves. Do you guys feel you could be the generation that could actually uh, make South Africans smile because of Wafana? I believe so, yes. I believe so. Because as you can see, the national team now, we have players between the age of 22 and 33. So this is this is like not a huge gap, but this in between 25, 26 years old, and in two years time, in four years time, it's World Cup, it's Afcon, and I think this will be when we will be all in our primes, you know, these young ones now. So definitely, I think. Okay. Thank you, man. Sienda, welcome back. Uh, maybe just to break the ice, how are you settling in? Uh, new league, new environment, but still in still abroad, which had, has been your your focus all along? Uh, it, it, it's been great so far, so good. Uh, my plan wasn't to come back home now, uh, even though my, my, my contract with Hopo Tel Aviv was terminated. So the plan was to stay overseas, uh, try and keep that level. So for now, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, I, did, I did manage to find myself a new home. Uh, it's not going to be easy, obviously, new environment, new culture, new league. So I'm just hoping that it's going to be a very productive season for me. Are you happy with the, with the level there? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, it's, it's different level, obviously. Uh, and and, and my, my, my main point is, is, is just to play. My main focus was just to, to, to get back on the pitch, which is something that, that, that happened eventually. I've, I've just played my, my third game and I'm, 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 I'm getting back into, into shape. And uh, I'm just happy that I'm back with the, with the group. You were, you were initially left out of the squad. Were you surprised to get a lead collab? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, was, I was very surprised because uh, me and the coach, we were in that constant communication. Uh, because as, as you know, that I'm a, I'm a vice captain of the group. So we were in, we were in communication about, about my fitness level. And uh, he, was, he was the one who was always uh, asking me how, how everything is going. So the, there was a bit of improvement then this way. He, he, he called me to, to, to come back to the team, but to be honest to you, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't really ready uh, for it now. But then obviously, he, he told me that he, he can never select me now, he just want me to, to add more minutes, which was only fair. You talk about not, not being ready, uh, obviously you, you had just made the move, was, is it because solely, like the coach said, you've been out of you know, club action for five months because you've, you've been part of the group? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've been part of the group and uh, I wasn't really surprised that, uh, that the group did manage to, 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 to go on without me. I mean, it's a national team, you know, even though uh, I have uh, a coach of, 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 of Igor Brosses Caliber who, who who respect my, 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 my job so much, but still I have to be I have to be faithful even to, to, to myself and be honest that I wasn't I wasn't getting 90 minutes I wasn't fit enough so the club as uh, the national team had to had to move on without me. Now I'm I'm, I'm back playing. Uh, I'm always privileged to to, to come and represent the country. Any concerns over the last four or five months while you weren't playing that? Yeah, for sure. I'm a football player, you know. I was, I was very concerned, especially that uh, other players were, were, were getting game time and uh, other leagues were, were, were still were still enrolling, and I wasn't I wasn't getting um, any game time. But eventually, I knew that everything is going to work out in, in in my way. Do you, do you think uh, you know the postponement of, of the Afcon is a blessing in disguise for, for South Africa? It buys you a little bit more time because Morocco proved to be quite a difficult op opposition. It, it, it was always it was always going to be difficult playing Morocco. We, we, we know the the kind of players that they have. They play in uh, competitive leagues, so uh, I think it was a blessing in disguise that uh, we, we got some bit of a time for for us to work on on, on, on the team that we have for us to work on, 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 on something that is going to benefit us going forward, which is, which is winning games and trying to make sure that we, we compete properly. 
what do you make of the opposition now this coming uh, couple of days i mean you, you went from france guinea in europe or morocco and now you're playing Sierra Leone. it feels like a backward step of some sort mm, yeah it, 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 it kind of feels like it but uh i'm just taking back uh what the coach mentioned that uh, for now it's just a matter of us building that winning mentality back us bringing that confidence back and it won't be easy for sure but then obviously we 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 we're trying to we're trying to create uh, we're trying we're trying to form a, a winning team so it, it it can never be easy whenever we we we're challenging top sides and we're trying to work on our combination and we're losing games confident it, it doesn't work well on us um there's been a lot of changes in the Bafana squad, but you've been a constant, you know, in the team. Um, how does that feel within the group, or is it better when there's, you know, a lot of consistency and a lot of experienced players? Because I think, I mean, Ronwen and Temba is the most capped players, and the rest is all like five, one, two, or something like the debuts and stuff. Uh, it, it, it's always difficult whenever we you, you work with different players every now and then. But this is a national team. Uh, we, are, we are international players. It's something that we, we have to work on. Uh, different players, uh, different mentality, it's something that you always come against. So I think, again, it's a responsibility to us, uh, like you mentioned, myself, Temba, and then Ronan, to, to just keep the, the young boys going because it's just how it is. Coach, you always said that these are must win games. Is that uh, the general feeling amongst the gents in the camp? No, for, 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 for now, because we. We're trying to engage uh, new players. We, we, we're trying to make sure that we, we get our combination going. Obviously, we want, we want to play well, we want to do well. And doing well and winning games, is, it, it, it's one of our priority. That's why, I think that's why the coach managed to, to challenge these type of games. And Siander, um, there's obviously a, a, a hunger in our amongst fans to, to see Bafana win something. Uh, you've played with different groups. Um, what are your thoughts about this group? Do you feel it's a group that could actually, you know, go on and uh, you know, do something great? I think I, uh, I had the same question uh, a few months ago. I think this is a very special group. Uh, I think we've showed it. Uh, as 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 young group as as we were, we we tried to compete. We only disappointed on the on the last game and. Uh, I think I think uh, giving giving more opportunity, giving more confident, and from from the coaches' side to us as players, I think I think we can achieve something, especially with this group. So I'm just looking at the coach, the confidence that he has in you. I mean, even at this instance where he had to call you up, Gushutin Gwena, when you've got a coach that believes so much in you as an individual, when other things for you happened, you know, went sideways, even in the PSL for yourself, Gushutin Gwena? Uh, it's, it, it's one of every player's dream to, 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 to have a coach who believes in you. And I think for the very first time in my, in my national team, it's the first time when I have a coach who believes in me. I've been here for 13, 13 years or 14 years in the national team. This is the very first time around where I have, I'm, I'm constantly in, 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 that, in, in the group and, and, and playing at my best. So I think it, 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 it works well even on, on, on my confidence, you know. Uh, having someone who believes in you and then you know that whatever you do, we, he tries and encourages. And then as he mentioned that I'm, I'm, I'm a leader and I'm, 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 I'm one of his core players and it, it's, it really boosts my confidence going forward and then I uh, just wish that it, it benefits the country as well.